Hi. So let's expand the previous example a little bit. So this time, instead of printing just simple strings, we are going to print some HTML content. Okay. So let me remove these two lines and let me replace it by f print f. The first argument is the writer. The second one string and this time it is some html if you notice that uh, i've used back tick instead of double quotes here and that is when you want to type multiple lines of string in your go code you use the back tick using double quote is not going to work and of course uh, having html code printed or typed like this is more convenient because you can see what each html tag is doing so for example i've got the head element and I've got the body element inside that I've got an h1 element and that's got my name here okay so now when I go back and run this let me go back to the browser window as well so let me just type uh, let me just open the URL and yes you can see the HTML content right just exactly what this particular HTML piece of code was supposed to show you okay now let me change something here let me add my full name and when I come back here well it's not changing and you probably know why that's because I'll have to exit this process and run it again this time when I refresh uh, it reflects but having to do this is kind of cumbersome is there a better way yes there is so there is a go package that you can install and use so that you don't have to do this and the name of the package is gin or gin i don't know how it's pronounced but i'm pronouncing it gin and uh, it's a package that you can install but you don't have to use or import it in your code it's kind of a cli utility okay so i'm going to do that now so the way to install it is using go get and then name of uh, uh, the library code gangsta is the name and then gin so name of the library is gin code gangsta is the name of the user who has this library okay and when you run this well uh, if you haven't installed it already it's gonna show some other packages getting downloaded since I already have it installed it just tells me that I already have the latest package so there's no need to install it now uh, this usually goes into your go path now your go path if you want to know what to go path is just type go env go space env and enter and you have a go path here so this library has been installed in my go path which is users chronal go and inside go there's a, there's always a bin folder and inside this bin folder if i look for gin well it's right there okay and how do i know if i can use this library well one thing you want to do is just type gin minus h now that's going to open up its help menu and it prints just fine for me so it is okay but if it doesn't do it for you then make sure that your go path slash bin has been included in your path variable okay and uh, the way to do that is just uh, do this and then users okay sorry users chronal go and bin all right that that is all since i already done that i don't need to do it and now you can use gene command to run your main.go file and the way to do that is as simple as this except that you want to actually have some additional flags so there is a flag called all okay and there's another flag called i so all is meant for uh, all the files including the files with the extension of go so if you are having some other files let's say css or html files separately in this folder and if you're working on them then saving them would also actually reflect your changes right away and I is for immediate uh, reflection so that that's what it's supposed to be now once I execute this okay 
now I go back here and my change is already there but let me change something let me just add here that my name is Kunal Shimpi and let me save it now you can see that it's already doing the build here right and when I come back here the change has been reflected so this is a very handy library and you would want to use that especially if you're doing web development because uh, web development involves a lot of small size changes and having this kind of library in use will make your web development faster and other languages also have similar tools for example node.js has nodemon and other languages and runtimes have their own respective tools for the same purpose okay so that was all for today's session and i'll see you later in the next session bye